couple of uncharacteristic drops for the passing offense. When that happens, is that just for you a part of the game? You say, hey, we're going to get the next one. I mean, or is there any different message you have for the guys? Uh, you know, at this point, I don't have to say anything. They hold themselves to a certain standard. And it, I mean, you look at Gary, and he's almost teary at it because he, he made the, he dropped that ball. You know. uh, TJ's frustrated. You know, it's just those type of situations, Mark is frustrated. So those things happen, and, uh, you know, those guys hold themselves to that, that standard. So That's got to be gratifying for you, though, that they have heard that coaching and that that has been established in them, and then that they also bounce back. Uh, you know, five touchdown receptions and some really nice catches as the game went on. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. We're, we're planning this offense. You'll get another opportunity. It's just win. You know, and, and when you when it does come your way, you got to make sure you seize that moment. You don't get too many of them, so you got to make sure you seize them. And speaking of that, Tevin gets a play, and to understand maybe it was kind of set for somebody else, but came out of the game. Is that is that right? Is that what happened on that play, or was that uh, totally designed for Tevin on his score? Like really, really, not many of the plays are designed for just one receiver. You know, we just. You know, I rotate them and just so happened that play got called and, and uh, I messed with David the whole week about certain plays that we just kind of had a thought that was going to be good. Uh, and I told David I'm going to take him out on every last one of them. <laughs> and it just so happened, the first one I took him out on, it was that play. And he looked at me, then he, after Tevin caught it and scored, he shot off up the field to, to celebrate with Tevin. But it was a, it was a funny funny joke. <laughs> I mean, obviously that's good for the room too, that right. other guys get involved and catch that. In, in your career, either playing or coaching, has this been one of the strongest rooms you've seen in terms of support for each other, that kind of thing? Yeah, you know, I, I try to build it off of like the group I played with. Um, we, we loved each other and we still, all of us still talk to this day. Uh, and, and, and that's the thing with, with, with football, with that room, you know, you just you build life life friends, you know, and these guys are, are really, really special, almost better than what we were, if not better. So got a good quarterback, ton of good receivers. You know, my quarterback was number seven. So things starting to look a little familiar, so <laughs>